I'd like to talk to you today about um, what are you willing to settle for? Because here's the thing, so many of us look at life and we say of life, I would like to be happy, I would like to be wealthy enough to get by. A lot of people say I would like to get rich, I say I would like to be wealthy enough to get by. I would like to have enough food in the fridge. I would like to have peace of mind. I would like to have movement of my limbs. I would like to have good health. I would like to not have financial worry. And all these things are great things to work towards, they really are. And I was listening to Bob Proctor again the other day. And again he was talking about how so many people just never live the way they want to live. He, you know, in his own words he said, most people don't drive the car that they want to drive, they don't live in the house that they want to live in, they don't do the job they want to do or do it at the level they want to do. They don't take up the hobbies that they want to, they don't have the body that they want to. They don't have the peace of mind that they would like. And he said that, you know, so many people go through life and if you ask them why they aren't where they really say they want to be, most people will say it's due to money. They can't afford it. And it's not unusual in this day and age, you know, but he always talks about money not really being the obstacle. Again, if you do listen to Earl Nightingale, um, I'm going to keep harping on about this, guys. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful speech. You must listen to it. The strangest secret. And he said that, um, you know, a lot of people who, you know, have money and not necessarily happy and happiness is to do with, you know, the way that you think and because we've become what we think about. And it was just, you know, really, really interesting um, that both Bob Proctor and Dill Nightingale talk about this and Bob Proctor actually says that actually Money is the most ridiculous thing ever. Earl Nightingale says that we live in the most prosperous land that has ever existed on the face of, the, you know, on the face of the planet, um, and yet so many of us worry ourselves into an early grave. Um, and and Bob Proctor just talks about the way that money is the easiest thing in the world to earn if we know how. And so the problem is not actually money because you know we're not going to run out of banknotes. Mint is always printing banknotes, we're not going to run out, you know, they're not difficult to come by. You really, really want some money, you could probably mug somebody in the street, I'm sure that everybody has at least a little bit on them. Um, and, you know, the real problem, he said, is that people haven't got the mindset to go after the money or after the resources, not just money, that they need in order to create that lifestyle. And one of those resources is actually mindset. Because once you have the right mindset, then you get the money, okay? He said a lot of people think that you're successful when you earn money, but actually it's the other way around. You can only earn money after you're successful. Because what's happening is we are always exchanging our money for a product or service. So let's take you for example, um, you might have a job, maybe you work shifts, maybe you have a family support, maybe you don't. Maybe you have a hobby or passion you like to fund. That job for you is not the only job out there for you, okay? And because you are who you are, because you are a human, and you therefore have unlimited potential, you can go out and net, you can actually get whatever job you want to. Margaret Thatcher. Okay, she was the daughter of a greengrocer, you know, 
you literally became Prime Minister. Um, and a lot of our limitations are just so self-imposed. You know, we don't think on a high level. Again, going back, back to uh, Bob Proctor, he always talks about people having goals up here and yet their thinking is down here. And because of the law is that you always get out what you put in. When people think down here, they get results down here and yet they're shooting for a star. So, another problem with mindset is that we don't use our minds. Earl Nightingale talks about how the things we are given for free at birth, our minds, our health, our ideas, our dreams, our passions, our love of family, our, you know, desire for communication, our, you know, just the way that we are as as this, you know, as a fully alive and, and charismatic person. Um, these things are priceless and they're given to us for free and the truth is that um, things that we place or we pay money for, we place value on, but actually the paradox is true. You know, even if our home burns down, he says, you can rebuild it, you can, you know, somebody can be wiped out and build another fortune. People who are bankrupt do build another fortune. Um, Walt Disney actually went bankrupt seven times, you know, and yet yeah, his stuff is everywhere, everybody's heard of Mickey Mouse, you know. <laughs> so, it's to do with your limitations. I mean, Walt Disney obviously had to pick him up, pick himself up, you know, seven times. Imagine having a nervous breakdown and picking yourself up, you know, because he, he had two nervous breakdowns and, you know, he went bankrupt seven times. So imagine picking yourself up after all that, you know, and if he can do that, what's possible for you? And when you really understand that your mind will tell you no before you've had a chance to actually say yes, you need to have a think about what is really possible for you because it's more than you can imagine right now. It really is. When I, in 2018, started my business, um, I did not think the way I think now. And I know that there's more levels for me. I know that I struggle with mindset. I know I struggle with motivation. I know I struggle with um, fear, which is a perception. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors. Fear, the greatest thing I fear is actually fear itself because fear is crippling. And it's amazing once you remove fear, what you can get through. The only thing that stops you once you remove fear is death, okay? And even then it doesn't stop some people because, you know, uh, you know, if we were like Elvis, they're still selling records. Um, you know, they're still raking it in uh, long after they're gone. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily form a, a complete barrier. Um, so yeah, what are you willing to settle for this new year? What are you going to try? What are you going to, you know, what zone? Are you going to stretch yourself towards? It's going to make you feel uncomfortable, but which is going to give you an amazing potential for growth and vitality and move you towards all the things that you really want. So that's all from me today. As I say, um, do feel free to check out that link. Again, the videos are free and um, just go for it. This, this could be your year. It really could. Um, I have had so many revelations since I started, it's been quite weird, to be honest with you, um, but in a good way, um, and the calibre of people I'm around is a bit like, whoa, sometimes, and it's amazing just to know that there, there are those sorts of levels, um, and that once you understand that fear is just a perception, and that you... Can, will start to do things as you level up, as you start to expand on yourself, you will start to do things that you would have never thought possible for yourself. Um, that starts to get real exciting. So um, don't lose your passion. Go for what is yours. Um, go and claim it. It's, it's out there waiting for you 
to grab it. It, it exists, it's possible. Um, so yeah, go and do that and until tomorrow, you have a great time. Take care now, bye.